and there's a lot more to it. I haven't seen, again. I can't tell you the exact details of it, but David that's Cooper kind of what is, happens. He's really good at body horror, and like the way the transformation scene in this was so like when it came out at the time, people were like, "Ugh, how could you put that on the fucking in public theaters?" Like, what the? Oh fuck? yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Anime Summit Podcast. It's your favorite host of the most, Sam the Bob. And of course with me every week is uh, Danny. Spooky, scary, skeleton. And Nick. <laughs> In space, nobody can hear you scream. Huh? <laughs> or what is that thing what that was Nick that? does? I didn't hear it. That thing that Nick <laughs> does all the time, he always goes, oh. <laughs> like when we oh. used to turn on oh. the, the Craig bot. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, when, yeah. when oh, Craig bought was like he he's like Goliath online and I'm like, oh fuck! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nick would be like, oh and then Sean would always post the hide the pain emoji because like <laughs> yeah. he's like, what the hell? <laughs> Anyways. Dude, speaking of scary stuff and people thing is scaring the shit out of us. Uh I just watched this horror movie, and I won't say why I watched it. I'm not going to say why, but I just watched this horror movie called The Faculty, <laughs> and for the rest of the night, I was, like, paranoid that aliens and parasites were inceptionizing my brain, and I was like, God fucking damn it, dude. And you know then you mean? had to and then you had to snort some scat to make sure that you weren't infected. I had to snort some <laughs> caffeine. Oh, pills. like poop? That's what poop is, right? That's what poop is. No, that's like it's the name of the drug in in the that movie. In the movie, there's this character who makes this drug and sells them to the other students, and it's called scat. I don't know why. It's also a hentai tag. Make sure you minus that one. Make sure you close that one. Hide that one. Yeah. Unless you like it, okay. That I'm not gonna. You know, I'm just not don't judging. tell me if that's a game. Yeah, like I'm not judging, but don't tell me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but no, like you know, speaking of scary movies, you know, that's like that's what scary movies do to you, right? They they leave you with feelings of paranoia, fear, you know. I don't, don't know make if me I can feel those feelings. I can't go to the bathroom by myself for the rest of the night, kind of thing, you know. And you know what? Like, what if some of these horror movies that we love to get scared by were adapted into an anime? How would they be adapted into an anime? Would they be a movie? Would the would the studio do it? Would they? Would it be a series? Would it be a short thing? Would it be OVA? Should it be a spinoff? Would it be one for one shot? That's what we're here to talk about. We're going to go through some of these movies. I personally picked some of my favorites that I think would be. There was a lot of favorites that I left off because I thought, eh, that would be a bad anime, I think. That would be bad. You know what I mean? Like, Because obviously like certain kinds of stories from North America to Asia, North America to Japan, don't translate as well. You know, so I kind or of- like- like Shaun of the Dead, that's that's from the UK, but like those the jokes wouldn't it wouldn't work the same. The jokes, yeah, I I kind of agree. Like the jokes would not work the same. They could have Japanese style jokes, but it, it wouldn't feel the same. It wouldn't feel like Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, yeah, it would be. It almost be its own thing. You know what I mean? So it's like we kind of had to think about things like that as well, and you know, like. Uh, Shaun of the Dead is so funny too. Like, and speaking of that's Shaun a of comfort the Dead, movie. That's like actually, <laughs> I know, like right? Yeah, like it's, scary. it's really funny. But like, that's that's kind of like we we also wanted to stay. We didn't want to just strictly say scary horror movies. So like, we yeah, it we, could be funny. We chose like other movies that were in the realm of. So like, you know, Halloween themed or comedies, horror comedies, you know, uh, thrillers. You know, make you pee your pants a little bit. Slashers. That kind of thing. So we'll get more into that as we as we jump on in. I, first of all, I just want to tell you about this. <laughs> and then, of course, links.animesummit.net. All the links there are for where you can listen, subscribe, follow on social media. And you can find the Patreon page. Become a patron today. Give a honey bear more freckles on her nose. Um. And uh, get early access to episodes as soon as they're being done edited and uh, special discount codes for the store that's now open. Merchandising. Um, It's finally open. As you're listening to this right now, the store is open. All you have to do is go to 
https colon slash slash anime summit.net. And there's the store. There it is right there. Um, I think at some point Quoka is going to rework how it looks because, because like I chose a pretty basic theme and basic kind of, you know, module for it, you know, but uh, for now it works perfectly to get your anime summit gear. Patrons had early access. As you guys know, I've been kind of bitching about it the last month. They already got some of their swag and I'm going to make a TikTok out of it. And we're all, I'm also going to, do some other stuff. Oh, you also find the TikTok on links to some of as well. So uh, there you go. I'm going to have Danny. I'll make sure Danny puts the, the store link on the link tree as well on links to anime summit net. So you can just go there, click on where it says merch anime summit.net and you'll be there. Get you a shirt. There's three kinds of, sh- there's no, there's two kinds of shirts right now. One with just the words and then one with the actual logo with the chibi magical girl and the words. And then there's a hoodie version of the girl. And then there's another one that's just like a retro anime, like a retro desktop computer desktop anime girl in like a window, uh, windows. OK, don't window. give out everything that we have there. Let them be. Surprised. Well, spoilers. Oh, sorry. Spoilers. <laughs> You're working on more stuff, too, right? You, you shared a, another design recently. Yes, I did. Yes. Because like the idea also is because. In the beginning of all of it, and I and you guys have heard me say this a few times before already, is like we always plan to just do like general weeb wear and not necessarily just like anime summit merch, like you know what Ooh, I mean? Weeb wear. Yeah. Patton. Patton. TM. Dibs. Dibs. <laughs> and so like, you know, of course, like we're gonna have shirts with like like, you know, it's gonna have one with like a little chibi Danny and it's just gonna say like cinematography like you know what i mean like but we're gonna have shirts like that of funny things like that like that are podcast merch podcast jokes things like that but like also just like general like you know it'll just say like anime summit and have some cool like street aesthetic character on it looking hot and sexy and then you could be like whoa what anime is that it's like it's not dude anime summit original baby that's what i'm talking about so some things like that are going to come out and it's going to be cool. It's going to be great. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to I'm gonna talk about that too much. Okay. Show swap. Don't forget. That's in a couple of weeks now. That's uh, ooh, three weeks from today. No, two weeks from today. You're going to be, is there a show swap? Planet test and show bits. Watch them both. Get on it. Okay. Also, um, by the, if, if you're hearing this on Friday right now, you have two more days until Monday in the afternoon to submit a Shark Tank horror anime pitch for our horror Shark Tank episode. Uh, I posted a Google form in the Discord announcements. Okay. And I'll remind everyone on Discord uh, right now as we're recording this. So, you know, but I'll remind you guys again today. Okay. To, to pitch some, we want to get to as many as we can. So just make sure you follow the rules that are on the form. Okay. Follow the rules as close as possible. And we want to, and me and Danny and Nick are going to listen to your pitches and we're going to invest. I don't know if we're going to use shekels or patches of honey bear's fur yet. I haven't talked to her, but we'll figure it out. And you could win a check for 10 pounds of honey bear's fur. It's really soft. Anyways, that's enough of that. Question of the week, Nick. What do you got? All right. Let me pull that up here. I actually have the sheet this time. This is from TCB, and he asks, if you were suddenly in the body of a harem protagonist, who would it be and why? Okay, this is going to sound really perverted and stupid, but like, (laughs) probably, oh, actually, you know what? I would love to go in the body of the angel character from Interspecies Reviewers. Oh, God. No, protagonist, protagonist, protagonist. They're protagonists. Angel character isn't that one of those one of the whores? No, 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 no. The the the. Main... Oh no, that's one of the reviewers. Yeah, one of the reviewers. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that counts as a harem, right? Because I mean, it's like three uh, guys. Uh, eh, I wouldn't. I would say no. Okay, then I would say. Mm, I don't care what they label on Mal. It's not really a harem. It's more of like a fuck fest. It's more of a, <laughs> yeah. You're right. You're right. I, maybe Golden Boy. Maybe Kintara from Golden Boy. Does he have a harem? I wouldn't really mm. count that as a harem <laughs> so, either. Yeah, it's not really a harem, Sam. <laughs> okay, yeah, no. A harem is like... Sam's so dodging the I question. I know what a harem is. I just... Okay, then. Like, I guess you don't watch that many harems. Well, Tenchi. No, I don't. Just say there's Tenchi a, or something. I don't know. There's a reason why, you know? Okay, that's a good one. Oh, you know what? You don't have to say that. You know what? That one... There was this anime, and it came out 
I think it was last summer actually, and it was it was kind of bad. It was it was purely just like you know smutty goodness. But I I thought it was really funny. It's the little kid. He's like he's like thirteen years old, fourteen years old, and he becomes the den mother of this sorority house. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hell yeah. That or the guy from World's End here. I'm just doing it all the time. We have to milk your male appendage for baby. Gland. Your gland. <laughs> your glands, yeah. Oh, I, I got one. Doing it, doing it, d- d- doing it, doing it. Okay, anyways, what do you got, Nick? Okay. Well, actually, you know what? I'm switching. I'm going to do Araragi from Monogatari. Because he's wicked smart, and all of his his wives are wicked smart. <laughs> there you go. That's pretty good. And Hachikuchi doesn't count because she's a ghost. <laughs> she's ghost. Spoilers. Or I would do the guy from Monster. I was. I, oh. Pff. Dibs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dibs. <laughs> In real life, I would not do that because that'd be that'd be gross. No, but I like. <laughs> Dude, Actual monsters? No, wouldn't work. I would do it all the time. Hell yeah, dude! What about uh, what about you? I was gonna pick. I was gonna pick Psychono, but we we did a, a. Oh, by the way, shout out uh to the Plummet podcast. I will be on the next episode. Girlfriend Smackdown, dude. I fuck. I fucked up, man. I, I forgot that on links. I am something now. You can also find the Plummet link when I listen to our sister podcast. We really need to shout out the Plummet. That those guys are doing awesome. Nick's on the next episode, so go check out the anime Plummet as well. Um. They're also on the same like apps and everything that you can listen to ours to, of course. Uh, Danny, what about you? What do you What do you got? I'd probably go with uh, Chitose from Happy Lesson. I watched Happy Lesson like way back when. What is that? <laughs> it's a harem, and it's about. <laughs> Wait, is it a reverse harem? No. Or you have no. a bunch of guys? Okay. Nope. Nope. It's not a reverse harem. It's it's a harem. Um, I'm just going to read the synopsis. One guy, five girls, one roof. It is a recycled idea, but it never gets old. Happy Lessons is a, uh, like pre it's, it's like an old genre. Um, and it's pretty much, um, Chitose shares a ha- like his house with five women and the, the women that he's sharing the house with are also teachers at his school. And oh, it's they, like domestic girlfriend. Uh, no. Um, they want to be his like mother figure, so like they like teach him, you know, things at home and also at school and stuff. So it's pretty underrated. It was from the two thousands. Um, yeah, this was something that I grew up with, and um, it's it's pretty funny. So, yeah. I kind of remember seeing this like at Suncoast, I feel like. like oh on, yeah, this was like something that like you on would DVD? see. At, like yeah. 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 Yeah, dude. This is old school looking. Super My question is this. Uh does Chitose get to do tongue twisters? I think not. Uh Point Nick remember. and Aragi. I don't remember. <laughs> Cause there's an OVA and then there's also a TV show. I'm going to post the tongue twister, Danny, and you're going to watch it later. Okay, anyways. Anyway. <laughs> Danny, why put his band up? Um, so, since we're doing, like, American movies into um, anime, I decided to go with some characters from American movies. So, Waifu is Carrie from Stephen King's Carrie. And husbando is Gomez Adams from the Adams family. Carrie White and Gomez Adams, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, dude, we Wait, is pre- the Adams family like actually Hispanic? Like the whole family? No, they they they, they never say. They I never say. I guess they're 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 gray. They're black and white. Yeah, so Gomez. Gomez is it's I kind guess, of like a Ricky Ricardo situation. Yeah, Gomez is like I think they it's like kind of inc- like inclinator inclined or or not inclined it implied that he's like from Spain. You know what I mean? Well, but yeah, like, that's where yeah. the name comes from. So yeah, okay, or Hispanic in some way. I don't know, but like Latin in some way. But yeah, and then whatever else. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, they're pretty much just like a bunch of pale, you know. 
people. <laughs> but well, they're like, extra yeah. pale because they're black and white. But yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, shout out to the Adams family, dude. All right. All I said was this. Horror movies that could be an anime. Think of a few popular horror or scary or thriller films or, you know, anim- horror themed or Halloween themed that could have an anime adaptation or a spinoff anime or whatever. And, you know, give some thought to it. Talk about it a little bit. And, you know, could it be a movie? Could it be OVA? Whatever. I kind of said all this in the beginning already. But you know what I mean? And, you know, I would like to hear after you guys listen to this, if we didn't mention any movies or what you thought or if you thought oh well you know sam said this this um this uh director for this anime for this movie i think it'd be better if they this person did it or whatever the hell you know what i mean just just pop off just you know and i'll leave the question on spotify too so you can answer on spotify as well so that being said i mean we don't have to round table it i'm pretty much going to just like I mean, Danny picked a lot of good ones. So. No, we should definitely round table it. Like one, 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 you know what I'm one, saying? One, like one, 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 one. Okay, NDS fine. or DSN or uh, SD's nuts or whatever. You know? All right, Honey honey Bear goes first then. Okay, Honey Bear. All right, Honey Bear, what do you got? The Aristocats. That's a good oh, one. Good, good pick. one. Good pick. Good one. Yeah, good one, Honey Bear. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. No, actually, just Cats, the live action. That should be a horror movie. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Fucking a, did, dude. I have a question. In the live action cats, the new one, did you did you have to stare into into one of their buttholes like an, like a real cat would make you do? I don't know. I didn't watch it. I didn't, I didn't watch, watch it. Either. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I'm pretty I'm gonna, sure. I'm gonna, in my head cannon, my head cannon, yes. All the main actors, you had to look at their buttholes nuts, half the time. Nuts. Yeah. Danny, what do you got on uh your list there? Let's let's, let's get away from the cat balls bowls. <laughs> Um, well, obviously I, so I'm not like, I don't like getting scared, so I don't like a lot of horror things. Um, aside from, I I would say aside from like the campy stuff, like the old so-called scary movies. Um, but like a classic for me, honestly, is Beetlejuice. Love that movie. Like, Let's say the year of the movie too. When was it made? I'll look it up for you. Go ahead, Tim Burton. I mean, I have a link to it. So, nineteen. Oh yeah, links on the yeah. She linked it on the sheet. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you got a link. Oh well. <laughs> she longed. Way to way to make me look bad, Danny. God. Well, while you were you know futzing <laughs> with freaking Rolling Stones, I was over here. Yeah, I had to look up my, my list. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, back um, when I was two, and it was bands like Bob Dylan and the Rolling Stones. <laughs> all right sorry a different movie go ahead um yeah so i chose beetlejuice uh directed by uh tim burton um and it was written by michael mcdowell larry wilson and uh warren uh Buffett. scarin uh, and warren it stars Buffett. alec baldwin <laughs> gina davis and michael keaton and of course um winona Ryder. winona so, Noner. Um, so yeah. Michael Keaton was Batman at one point, wasn't he? He was. Yes. Yes, he indeed was. In the Tim Burton series? Yes, he was. Um, also, they he were was actually, in the recent They one were too. actually afraid to cast him as Batman because Michael Keaton is actually known for more of his... Uh, he's more of a comedian actor at the time, like in his younger days. Um, so they were actually kind of like hesitant on casting him as Batman. Kind of he bad. also reprised that Batman in the Flash movie. Recently. Yes, he did. Yeah. And I want to watch it. That universe is Batman. Because yeah. I love Michael Because you're a big Keaton. DC. Yeah, you're a big you're a big DC, a big Batman. Well, I'm just a huge Michael Keaton fan. Like I, oh, yeah, I, I like anything that Michael Keaton has done. So he was really good in uh Spider Man. Yeah, oh yeah, as the yeah. vulture. Yeah, he was really good, yeah. man. That was really good. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Oh yeah, was that one of the new ones? Yeah, the first one. That was like the, the uh, Spider Verse, not Spider Verse. Sorry, Spider Man Homecoming, Homecoming. Right. with uh, with uh, Tom Holland. Yep, yep. Yeah. Homecoming. Oh. Sorry, Danny. Okay, but we keep... Tom Holland is a short king. Got to represent us. He's got to represent us. Go ahead, Danny. Anyway. <laughs> 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 Instead of throw that out there, it's fine. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so I think I think uh, Beetlejuice would be a pretty neat anime, in my opinion. Um, I mean, I wouldn't even necessarily think that they would have to like change it into like a a Japanese setting. I mean, they could if they wanted, um, but. I mean, I think I think Beetlejuice in general, I think Beetlejuice is just that iconic character. So and I mean, it, and it's a comedy, too. So like you'll totally laugh at it all at the same time. Um, and and like a while back, there was also a cartoon of Beetlejuice, too. So if they wanted to, like, make it into a series, they can maybe take a little bit of what the cartoon did as well in with the anime. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. So, um, yeah. I purchased a animation cell of that cartoon show for Trisha. She's got it downstairs. Oh, wow. Framed. Yeah, it was fucking cool. I was like, holy shit. He's like driving a little, a little car. Well, you can't see the car because the car was a, the, it was an overlay that goes over that piece, but. Yeah, it was awesome. It's even got like the the frame number and everything on it. Super dope. That's awesome. Anyways, Nick, what do you got? Uh, I'm going to start with, and a lot of these I haven't seen, so I'm I'm going off what I'm reading online. Fake fan, but I'm not even. I'm not. I, I can't be fake if I've never. Even, I guess that is a fake fan. All right, never mind. <laughs> uh, I was like, wait, I can't be fake if I haven't seen it. <laughs> well, he does. Well, Nick don't claim. He hey, don't look, claim. Yeah. I so. still remember when I beat all of you on that Sailor Moon question on Anime Music Quiz, including uh, Kai, and that was embarrassing for all of you. And that whatever. was hilarious. You're all fake fans. You're still anyway, a fake fan. That was bogus. You're still a fake fan. I'm gonna go with uh, Halloween. This is uh, directed by John Carpenter, 1978. Well, no, um, now you, no, you have to say it right. You have to say it right. It's not just Halloween. It's John Carpenter's Halloween. John Carpenter's Halloween. Fine, Danny. No, it's it literally just says Halloween. I'm looking at it right now. Anyway. Um, it's still... it's still John Carpenter's Halloween. Wanted, there you John, go, Danny. John Carpenter <laughs> wanted his name in the title. All right. I, I know fine. that for a fact. Fun little, tid, fun little trivia fact for everybody. John Carpenter's Halloween. All right. Now this is uh the Michael Myers movie and this is this is kind of one of the original like slasher film uh like genre defining movies. Uh it's basically just you got the guy in the mask who's who's kind of like a supernatural being almost like he's almost unbeatable and like he's just going around killing people. Um killing spree, Halloween night, right? That's what that movie is, am I right? <laughs> Sam? That's Bueller? the that's the basic yeah, I do. And uh, the, I know about this movie from all the dances, you know, like the TikTok dances with people dressed as him doing cool, cool dances. Oh, TikTok dance. oh <laughs> and the post somebody, I, I forget it was a Trisha or somebody posted the TikTok of the Mike Myers in, in high heels. That was said this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tagged me and Trisha in it. Yeah. That was uh, funny. The anime version, he'd be in high heels for sure, dude. He'd be in high um, heels for sure. Oh my god, <laughs> that'd be hot. Actually, and also he'd be just a hot babe. <laughs> he'd just be a waifu. Yeah, he'd be a waifu, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, like the, oh no, in the anime though, the 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 murder victims would would be waifus mostly, and a couple husband, a couple uh, himbos in there too. Why not? Um. But yeah, like this is just this is just a, a fun slasher show. I think this would be, let's see, this could be like an, a, a, an OVA or a mo- I think it could be a short series, like ten episodes. I think you could do that, like a Killing of the Week, pretty much. That'd be fair because you could also incorporate like stuff from the other Halloween movies. I guess there's a bunch of them. Sam knows a lot more than I do about this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Myers is like my favorite. Yeah, it's like one of my favorite horror movies. I personally didn't choose it because I didn't think it'd be a good anime. But I don't think how would it that, would. Wait, why would honesty. why would it why would it not be a good anime? This would be a great anime. I it's think, just a slasher thriller crazy shit. I going feel on. like I feel like the story is just so well unique, and I don't i I can't picture it in a different setting. Other than wherever they are in the movie, 
Well, yeah, you could change it to Tokyo or something. That's fine. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think it would be good. Like, all of these would have to change to Japan, wouldn't they? <laughs> no. <laughs> kind of. necessarily. No. They could. They could. It's whatever you think. It, 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 yeah. Look, I think this could be set anywhere. They could put it in, in Egypt. I don't care. Halloween. In Egypt. Anime. Written by... Uh, no. Directed by somebody from Kyoto Animation... Michael Myers would have oh, would be pigeon toed. Always want Kyoto anime. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> pigeon toed so Michael Myers, blushing Jesus. as he stabs his twentieth victim. Oh my god! <laughs> That's my first one. That's what I got. There's oh not enough god. slasher anime. We need more slasher anime. Yeah. Okay, I can kind of agree with that because it's. Anytime we do get a quote unquote slash or something in an anime, it's always a yandere something or other. And it's like, nah, dude, let's just get a regular dude who's crazy. Well, like, and I, I mean, Michael Myers is like, is a weird thing because his motive to like, uh, kill or whatever is like, um, you, it's, it's always people that are in his way getting to what he wants to get to and what he wants to get to is he wants to get to him to be with his uh and his sister his sister yeah something about a sister yeah which like See, they, i read the synopsis which like they retcon in like the newer one oh yeah apparently the timeline is really fucked up yeah it's not it's not but like so that the trilogy is a sequel to the very first movie and then the the new trilogy that just came out is a sequel to the very first movie. And then they they explain that like, oh yeah, that was just a rumor. She wasn't really his sister or whatever and bullshit. But like anyways, um, shout out to Danny McBride for writing and producing those ones. The third one kind of sucked, but anyways. Uh my first one is the Saw series. Because here's why I wanna play a little game. I wanna play a little game. Oh, I should have said that. The tape to your the, the saw to your right is when you need to cut off your your bolts. No, do you like fucking <laughs> because in a lot of people, uh, this kind of came out. These movies, the, the, especially the first like three or four movies, kind of were coming out of, during a time where American horror were trying to push the envelope a little bit and just make things really gory for the sake of being gory. And so, like the movies, movies like Hostel was coming out, um, Hostel Part Two, whatever, um, just things like that, right? And um, you know, M Night Sh- M Night Shyamalan was trying to like push more weird things that were gory and gross. Um, but like uh, the thing about the Saw movies is like, so they what I'm saying is they kind of get a bad rap for that. They kind of get a bad rap of like, oh, well, the Saw movies suck because it's just a bunch of. It, they it's just a bunch of gore and whatever and like okay yeah that's maybe true but like the big part of the saw movies is um they're told somewhat non-linear in a way and then also like it's kind of like a a murder mystery series because by the time you figure out who's doing what and what's doing what you realize like there's like a they're always adding another layer to like John Kramer's legacy as Jigsaw or whatever and so we're at a point in the films now where one there's one Saw movie that just came out called Saw X or Saw 10 or whatever. And it's like an interquel, you know, like an in-between quel that apparently takes place after the first movie or something weird like that. Um, but anyways, the last the one two, with Chris Rock. No, that's Spiral. The one that oh, just okay. came out of Saw is called Saw X. Um, but that's what I was going to mention next. Thank you, Danny, was um, the last two films we got were legacy films they take place um they take place outside of like the main series where it's kind of like a legacy that was left behind um so like these are copycat people continuing his work or whatever and so uh i feel like you could do a spin-off anime kind of like that where it does take place maybe in japan um because that's how far reaching his like his you know his story goes right it was they mentioned well i also feel i also feel like something like saw now i per me personally i i i cannot watch 
any of the Saw movies. I watched Saw 2, I think. I can't remember. I watched one of the, the like... One of the, I think it was either two or three. I can't remember, but I hated them. I absolutely could not like, I just don't like that. I don't like gore. I don't, especially in real life. I don't like gore. Oh, I love it. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. Nobody um, does. But like with the Saw movies, this is definitely possible to have it set in Japan and have it as like, um uh like like Tamada- Tamadachi game you know like how that that show was like you can have like the saw movies as an anime can be feel it could feel like you're play like it, one of those um you know death games and stuff that's what i was yeah so, that's what i was alluding to next was like we've seen that in anime before and so I feel like you could do something like that with this. Yeah. Because they mentioned. You can even mix in like that, like whodunit murder mystery kind of thing. Like, Well, that's what the side movies are, um, um, yeah. especially in the later ones, because in the later ones, it's not in the, the last two anyway. It's not Jigsaw. It's like somebody else. Um, mm-hmm. uh, whatever. And so like. um. That's why, because they mentioned in one of the movies, like how far reaching his his philosophy is and stuff like that, like Jigsaw's philosophy and stuff is. And so you could say that it reaches Japan at some point and somebody's putting together uh, that kind of thing. And um, I am one of the people who believes that Jigsaw did nothing wrong. So I don't want to get into it. And people might think of me like I'm crazy or something. I personally don't think he's doing anything wrong or he did anything wrong. Maybe some of the other stuff he did should have had more oversight and he kind of made a mistake there, but, uh, wait, what torturing people is right. <laughs> they, no. Hey, listen, wait, hold on. Hold on. Now he didn't torture anyone. He gave the answer was always right there and you could always get out of the games. Oh, wow. Okay. So um, <laughs> they, they were going to hold a sharp object in front of your eyeball. Just don't hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that because that's like what's part of the part of the films are like people start fucking with them and and making it so like people actually you know don't have a chance to survive and then they get killed and so like you know the big thing is like well no who's doing that like you're fucking it up you're fucking up my Christmas or whatever but anyways don't even don't even tell me what it is right uh, okay anyways move on go to the next one you know you don't you don't know what you're talking about okay all I'm saying is. Basically, exactly what Danny said. You you could make you could have fun with it. You know what I mean. You could, it could be a very cool. You could have a cool twist at the end, like oh, sh-. it turns out it was Nick the whole time or whatever. You know what I mean. And oh um, yeah, but whatever. Yeah. So what what else you got? What else you got, Nick? Oh, well, is Danny right? Danny, sorry, Danny. Um, my next one is Hocus Pocus. <laughs> 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 They're called Yabos, right? King Yabos. always posts that gif. <laughs> yeah. Yabos. The one that never mind. <laughs> the little girl in the movie where she's talking about she says she uh, calls him Yabos. Th- has anybody ever said that outside of that movie? No. I've yeah. never heard that. I don't know. I don't know why Disney chose to use that as the, the term for boobs, but they thought it was funny, maybe because it was a little girl saying it, because maybe that's what she calls him. But like, yeah. Yabos. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you're the one who picked it, Danny. That. Shouldn't you know? It's because they make. It's because they make you go yabba dabba do. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> like, yeah, yabos, dude. Okay, sorry. Go sorry, ahead. Ask, I'm ask, just ask paying about attention yabos. to what's going on in the actual movie and like just obsessing with Bette Midler in it and Sarah Jessica Parker. I'm not paying attention to these yabos. So. It was the little girl who said it. Okay, never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> it was a one-off scene. It meant nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's true. Yeah, <laughs> but it's funny that we hear about it a lot. <laughs> Anyways, is, I don't even need to hear Danny's pitch. This is ten out of ten because of Thackeray Binks. Zachary Binks. Oh my god, talking cat. <laughs> talking cat. Dude. Oh my god, Zachary. I haven't watched this movie in a while. <laughs> oh man. And uh, and so also, good. um, such a classic. Billy. Billy's my favorite. Oh, I love Billy. But yeah, my favorite. So are you thinking like one for one shot or just like I didn't watch the sequel, by the way. I heard it was lame, but um, it's cute. It's it's. 
it's a good like hats off like and and exploring the Sanderson's like origin, especially in the beginning of the movie. Um, it's not terrible. Like I enjoyed watching it. So um sure. I mean it 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 it's it's nothing to compare like the first movie. The first movie will always be great. Um I feel like the second movie is just another like you want to see more Bette Mittler and and the other two as the Sanderson sisters. So um it's just a fun ride. Yeah. Um so but I think I think I would just like want this to just be, you know, maybe like a one shot or an OVA because I mean the cuz it's a Disney movie. So and it wasn't um it didn't come out in theaters or anything like that. It was on the Disney Channel. So it's it is a pretty kind of like short movie anyway. Um so Yeah, it is kind uh, of short, huh? Yeah, it's like an like, hour I mean, and twenty minutes or hour fifteen minutes is yeah, yeah like it's, it's shorter. pretty it's it's pretty short. So um what all I takes place in like, one night too, right? Right, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think just like a one a one shot OVA for this would be good. Um you know, I I think it's definitely perfect. I mean it could be set in japan um you know i mean witches are everywhere like witches don't have to be like a traditional like how hocus pocus sets them at, out as right you know witches can just be like any sort of type of lore and everything it so. could be uh sandra bullock and nicole kidman in practical magic you know just regular yeah 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 regular I women watch that <laughs> one by the way huh i still have to watch that one. Oh, it's good it's practical good. magic so um yeah and i think this would be like i don't know maybe maybe like um uh like tsm entertainment could do it or TMS. something uh T- yeah tms um speaking of just- studios that we always pick <laughs> okay, you do it for the trolls. I do it for all serious. Uh, for all serious. So. Okay, well that's different then. <laughs> I just remember we were doing the top fifty, and then like, f- like five anime in a row. Five that mine Danny- were like from T. Yeah, yeah. TMS is like, <laughs> I'm just like, you really love TMS Entertainment, don't you? Or, or, ooh, or like Cloverworks could do this too. I think Cloverworks would do a good job. Mm-hmm. I, I I like how uh, it's it, I would like it to be more aesthetically pleasing um, and like just magic everywhere and stuff. So. And then have um, um, Zachary Banks have like a little magical girl moment when like he's just like turning into the cat or even uh, just like. Becoming a ghost or something. I don't know. <laughs> Just something silly. <laughs> Hell yeah, so. dude. Well, speaking of silly, my next choice is The Conjuring from 2013. How is I've that actually silly? I've actually <laughs> seen this one, and I kind of couldn't watch the whole thing. I literally looked away a couple of scenes because I was too scared. <laughs> um, and I was in a group, a room full of people. And I was still too scared. But yeah, this is just a haunted house movie. That's what it is. Haunted house. Uh, I also made a change to one of mine later on. But so with The Conjuring, uh, directed by James Wan, it's uh, it's kind of based on like paranormal investigations of a family set in the 1970s. Um. They have an evil presence in their house, super sinister. It's it's just kind of like a modern horror haunted house movie, and like it's it's really uh scary. <laughs> At least for me it is. Cause I, I find haunted houses scary because like you're always kind of like it, able to go into a building, right? And like the, the building could be haunted. That's that's like more immediate than like zombies or something or a monster or something, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because you look down in the basement or something or or like 
the worst part is like, and the same thing happened to me with after watching Stranger Things. It's like when I'm trying to sleep at night in my bed, <laughs> I'm like, fuck, there's something at the edge of my bed. Fuck, shit. And I get all scared and like, I'm like, oh God, the walls are bending. <laughs> it's like Stranger Things. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I lost a little sleep over this one. Spooky, not even spooky. It was just fucking terrifying. But yeah, the, uh, so the haunted house could work really well. Um, I'm not sure what anime you compare it to. I mean, but like, there's not a lot of haunted house anime. I think I tried Isn't looking Shadow's at Shadow's house, like a haunted house thing. Kind of, but it's not, mm. it is, but it's not scary, scary. Um, and it's, but, I don't, mm, I don't know. Kyoto animation do a great job on this one, Danny. Don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> Pigeon toad hauntings. <sighs> All right. What do you guys think? Would this make a good anime? I think it would. I think it would. I think there's a lot of um there's a lot of uh what you call it. Possession and everything like that. I too. mean, so so just Japan in general, when they make J horror, a lot of their stuff is like possession and paranormal and mm-hmm. weird entities yeah. in the house and that kind of thing. Yeah. They're really good at that. So I mean, I feel like if you got like just if you were to make it fully Japanese and whatever and they got the rights to do it. You know, they could make something really fucking spooky. You know, I think they really could. Honestly, yeah, maybe maybe Halloween would be a better Korean uh, production. You know, they do a good job of like the violence. I think. Oh yeah, true, true. With like Squid Game type stuff, Korea. But yeah, the- Korea is big on zombies and shit right now, dude. They're huge on zombies. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, they do a great job of that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, Conjuring haunted house anime. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I feel like you could find a a decent director to do. Actually, who was the person? I know it was with Studio, but like, oh man, fucking! You could. Get, I just don't know a lot about scary anime. There's not a lot of good ones. I know, I know. You could get. Um, oh man, the person who did La Porta de Petit Cassette. They did that. Oh, that yeah. That anime did some really good. Like, oh, uh, th- was that Shaft? Was it Shaft? I don't remember. It might have been but, Studio Shaft. I'm not sure. But the person who was like in charge of the no, art it was direct- not. It was not. Just kidding. The person who was in charge of the art direction of that one, like, oh, Akiyuki Shimbo. Akiyuki okay, Shimbo. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think he's directing anymore. But like, pretend he is. But like, but like, think about like you know the the way the atmosphere was drawn every time he went into the glass to visit her. You know, and it was just like yeah. dark and eerie and. I don't yeah, know he if do, I want to do a good job. I I want to I want to look in there but I don't but I can't look away. Yeah, and, and Satoshi Khan would do a great with all of these obviously, but he's dead, but if you were alive, you know. Oh yeah, no shout out. Yeah. I was going to say um so like uh, um and I didn't say it too much when we were talking about Saga cuz I I got distracted about talking too much about Jake Saw himself, but um I would like if there was a particular art style for, for Saw, if there was an art style that was more so in the line of like um, where the anime is not so more of the, more of the realistic side, like Naoki Urasawa or, or um, what's his name? Ikigami, Ryochi Ikigami, mm-hmm. he did Crying Freeman. Um, mm-hmm. You know, if it was more realistic like that, or the people who did like Gasaraki or something. Um, but um for this next one that I chose, Carrie, Steve by, by Stephen King. This is my favorite one on the list. This I is think. my yeah. This is one of my. I would have picked this if you, someone else didn't pick it. This is one of my favorite horror stories of all time. Because you could sell waifu figures of her covered Dude, in blood. You could make the you could mow the shit out of this and just make it super bloody, and yeah. make figures and uh, you know those Kotobuki Bashojo figures that they always do like they did they did like uh, they did Chucky they've done. Edward Scissorhands, they've done pretty sure they've done Freddy. They just make waifu versions of them, like Moe waifu girls of, out of them. Um, really funny. Um, but you can sell figures like that. But like Carrie, like if you don't know the story of Carrie, I mean, she comes from like a super strictly religious like family and it's basically just, it's her and her mom. Her mom forbids her to do anything. She only allows her to go to school and come back home and then like she has to repent for her sins for being a a girl or whatever the beginning of it she has like her period and then her mom like scold like scolds her for it like how dare you have your period it's a sin it's yeah you're a fucking slut how dare you you know 
and whatever. <laughs> You're not for yeah. I forgot what she. I, I all I remember is the end of the movie. I won't spoil it, but there's a there's quite a scene at the very end. Yeah, like a short scene. And so she discovers that she has these latent telekinetic abilities, and so she's able to like move things with her mind and make things happen with her mind and stuff. And um, you know, she's kind of she's kind of bullied. She's kind of an outcast. And she's weird, you know, and that's obviously because of her strict upbringing. You know, she doesn't get out much. She doesn't know how to socialize. So people think she's weird and she's an easy target for bullying and things like that. And then she's got telekinetic powers. What does that tell you? Right. OK, I don't feel like I need to say this, um, but like, you know, a scene happens. It triggers her abilities and she just pops off. And so I feel like this would be a really cool. Maybe if they took the novel adapted straight from the novel or something or even the the 2013 version the 2013 version made the effects look really cool i really like the 2013 version of carrie a lot a lot of people hated it because you know oh i hate these reboots uh. but in my opinion in my opinion i think it's superior to there's something about the old movies like they're they're grainy and like gritty and it's like ugh, you know like it gives That's it a little scarier. uneasy feeling. Yeah, I can I can agree with if that. It's all if it's like two HD, it's you know, it's not as scary. Two HD, not enough P. I don't like <laughs> it. Um, no, no, I get you though. I feel I feel that. Which uh, is actually why anime isn't as scary because it's so sharp. Well, yeah, unless they right. do a and particular style, you know. I feel like maybe that's why like newer versions of like you know I spit on your grave and all that are aren't as good, but like. With Carrie, right? It'd be funny if they just like moid the shit out of it. Super waifu character, <laughs> Higurashi style. Higurashi style, and she just murders, it, murks everyone, and just I would love that blood everywhere. Fucking, there's one scene in particular where in the 2013 one where she stomps on the road to stop a car coming at her, and she flings it to a gas station. And the gas starts leaking and the girl who was sitting in the driver's seat, who was like the main bully, she was going through the windshield, but it was just enough force for only her face to go through the hole. And so her face gets stuck in it. And so like, Uh. and so like the glass cracked around her face is cutting into her face. And it's like, oh, dude, it was so good. Like, I I was so badass. I was like, that bitch got what she deserves. She should fucking fuck her, dude. Blow up and guess <laughs> Boom. I would love to see uh, some some moe shit out of that. I would love it. Don't get on Sam's bad side. Get the fucking. You know what? What's his name? Kasu. Kasu. I forgot. I just fucking had it on the top of my head when I was looking at stuff earlier. But the the um the same people who did the anime and art art and character design for uh, School Days have them do it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! I'll watch the shit school out of days. that. <laughs> yeah, you what? had me at school days. <laughs> you get my weak point, Sam. <laughs> I'll all do. Right, I'll Danny, what you got? Out. Yeah, all right, Danny. What do you got? We got to move on. We got to keep moving. Yeah, I was talking. I was talking too much in the beginning and stuff. So yeah, gotta hurry up. Well, since we're on a Stephen a Stephen King role, I'm gonna do The Shining. Here's oh, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Nicky. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm just like late, but, but, <laughs> but even though, even though I do enjoy the movie, um, I personally would probably want the anime to be a little bit more faithful to the, the novel. Um, because in the novel there is, um, there's like more stuff, right? There's a lot more stuff, and and uh, one of the characters. For the record, I've never read it or read the Carrie novel, so I just. Um, yeah. what's his name? The uh, kid, or no, 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 no. The um. Jack oh, Torrance. um, uh, Hollow, Hollow, Hollow Run. It, it, it was the the. It was the. The guy who was giving a tour to um oh, the, family. the family. Yeah, to Jack, Wendy, and Danny. Okay. Um and they he went downstairs and he was giving lunch to Danny and and he was talking to Danny and he 
he was connected to Danny because he has the same exact ability that Danny does. Sure. And he has a a more important role in the novel because he he starts to get worried about Danny and Wendy and so he he goes back to um you know he goes back to the hotel and stuff um but in the movie i think they killed him off but in the novel he wasn't killed off he ended up he ends up saving um them and whatever oh, okay so that's like a so, major difference yeah and so you're like saying that the anime would be better if it was novel faithful. if the if they did more faithful to the novel versus the movie sure um but of course like having some iconic scenes from the movie would would also be pretty awesome like when danny is um excuse me when he's like riding on his tricycle in the hallway and like he's like making those turn like those sharp turns and you know every time he makes that turn and then all of a sudden like when he made that turn he sees the twins um so i think it would be very very creepy um if they still had that ambiance the that scariest the part the scariest part of that movie was the naked old lady <laughs> Ugh. Oh yeah! <laughs> Literally, that scared the shit. Yeah, it was, yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. so haunted the way very, they presented it. It's, like, it's a very haunted. Old, old haunted people movie. Uh, should not be allowed to be naked. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just saying. It. I'm saying what we're thinking. Okay. <laughs> they need to have the scene. It needs to have the scene. And it, you know, whatever. It the elevator have- bloodbath. Yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Give me that. No, I need to have the scene where he's like, "Wendy, darling, light of my life." Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna he's hurt like you. Really going crazy. You'd have to get yeah. uh, who's that finish. one guy? Who's the one guy? Uh, Zombieland Saga guy. He's a whole bunch of other things. Mama Romiana. Mama Romiana. Yeah. yeah. I said, "I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your brains in." I'm gonna bash him right the fuck in. <laughs> so good. I'm dude. not gonna hurt you. <laughs> yeah. You didn't let me finish. Gosh. Yeah, dude. It poor was... Shelly. Poor Shelly Duvall. He, she like. Yeah. She oh, yeah. They like, tortured God. her on set, they right? Tor- yeah. yeah. That's why kinda. she like. I mean, not that's, literally, that's, but kind of. It's pr- this movie pretty much ruined her career um, and her mental health. So I feel so well because they, you know what? Good job. She did a great job. They got, they got (laughs) the very least. Yeah. Cause they started, you know, they fucking blacklisted. They were like, oh yeah, she was a diva and she was this. And it's like, yeah, because you were fucking antagonizing her and fucking with her the whole entire fucking production. Yeah. But yeah, like she has the face of a horror movie uh, victim. She really does. Did you ever watch Dr. Sleep or whatever that was? The sequel? Uh, no, I want to though. I heard it was lame. Mm. But I don't know. I don't watch. I mean, sequels. I don't know. I I know it's like a direct sequel to the the novel. So. It's like however many years later. Yeah, because I know he wrote yeah. it in 2013, and the movie came out way later. But yeah. Anyways, good one, good one, good one. Yeah, I would watch the shit out of that, dude. Fucking. It'd just be creepy and like suspenseful. I just like the suspenseful stuff. It makes me think. I always think of the thirty seconds to Mars music video for the kill because it was basically just, yes. It was basically so just good. that with the band members. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, yeah. Good song. Good song. Um, okay. All right, Nick. I got mine now. This is the Fly, nineteen eighty six, directed by David Cronenberg, starring Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. I've seen part of this movie, so I'm a half fake fan. <laughs> creepy. <laughs> we always joke. I have a friend in one of our group chats. And he's like, yeah, my, my, my son's favorite movie is the fly. You know, his son's like three. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> it was a joke. Yeah. The next one. But like, yeah. Um, it, but yeah, yeah the, the, the fly is like really, it's like a crazy body horror, uh, uh, warning against unchecked, unchecked science movie. That's what it is pretty much. I like, it is what you think it is. Like Jeff Goldblum slowly turns into a fly pretty much. And there's a lot more to it. I haven't seen, again, I can't tell you the exact details of it, but David that's Cronenberg kind of what is, happens. He's really good at body horror. And like the way the transformation scene in this was so like when it came out at the time, people were like, Ugh! 
how could you put that on the fucking in public theaters? Like, what the oh, fuck? Oh yeah, <laughs> you know. It was funny because we were when we were about to watch the faculty, and we were looking at horror movies, and Trisha was like, "Dude, I hate the fly." I'm like, "Why?" She's like, "Dude, I just don't like that. It was nasty. It made me want to puke." I was like, "Dude, it's fucking awesome." Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, Gina Davis is also in that movie. Huh? Gina Davis is also in that movie. Yeah, shout out Gina Davis, dude. She's great. I love yeah. her. League of Their Own. No. Oh shit! That I see. I love that movie. Yeah, Dottie. There's no crying in baseball. Yeah. There's no crying in baseball. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the fly. It would be. It's kind of like Parasite or Tokyo Ghoul, a little bit. Very monstrous. Um, Very monstrous. Like. Yeah, I don't know. I think if you if it was made in the style of like Akira, it would work really well. Oh, dude, yeah. With like infinite budget. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like. I think it probably worked better as, as a movie. That's my that's my thought. Yeah, on it. yeah, because it's it's yeah, you go so far with you don't you don't want to go you don't want it to be too long you don't want to drag it out you know. So yeah, yeah it's just gonna be a fly. Directed time, by yeah. uh, Kevin Smith, he already he made Tusk, so he can make the fly. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh no! Yeah, dude. All right, that's it for me. Um, listen, we got we got to speed these up. Two minutes a pop. Okay. I mean, this one, this one, I don't really have to say much. I just, because what I want out of this one is, so AVP, right? Alien Risk Predator. Okay. There was, there's a bunch of movies of this. Okay. Whatever. Um, the, the, um, it was, it was really popular at the time. To like put these two together, and it was it was there was comics of it, and 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 whatever the fuck, okay, and um, uh, there was a arcade game that came out by Capcom, and it was a side scroll beat 'em up game, and it was just called Alien vs Predator, okay, and there wasn't any movies of this yet, okay, this was just this arcade game and whatever comics, um, but like. Uh, Kino Nishimura and some other artists, Bangus, I think, Bangus might have been one, um, did the art for the characters and character design. And uh, I think also uh, another artist, Hisashi, probably. I don't fucking know. But um, if you look it up, just look up Alien vs. Predator arcade game. Some people in the Discord will know exactly what I'm talking about. But the main character's name, her name is Lieutenant Kurosawa. So, like, you know, main character, wife who soldier, badass, kill you 5,000. And you, she, they, and the, the one guy, uh, I forget the guy's name, but he's got like a ro- robotic arm. They team up with two predators, a warrior and a hunter, and they fight the aliens. And it's a really fun game, and it's really cool. It's bloody, it's gory, it's actiony. There's a bunch of you know combo attacks you can do. Pick up guns and shoot aliens. And do if you if you play the predator hunter, you'd be throwing spears and shit. Fucking cool, man. It's fucking dope. It's a cool game. And if they could make an anime kind of based on that art style a little bit, um, bang on Bangus' art, you know, fucking, I could just see it. You know, it's Lieutenant Kurosawa just killing bitches, you know, have that kind of dark atmosphere coloring going on. You know, you could probably get, I don't know, the people who did uh, Attack on Trains to do it. Yeah, Attack on Titan. I was going to say Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan or Wit Attack on or Trains. Mappa or both. I would oh, attack love... Attack on Trains. Attack on Trains. Yeah, Attack on Trains. Yeah, fucking um, Covenant of the Iron really Fortress. The yeah. Uh, who was the Matt director House? of that? Uh Oh, God. That I director. Yeah, it was... It was yeah. I don't know. Well, Wit Studio also did Cabinary. Yeah, it was back when Wit Studio did everything awesome. Oh, Tetsuro Rocky. Yeah, Tetsuro, Tetsuro Rocky. Rocky. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fucking get get I don't know if I get the get the butcher in there get our butcher I don't fucking know but like it would be really cool it would be really I would love yeah. that blood and guts alien blood everywhere just spitting and acid and kill you to throw a spear then she pulls out the gun and then she does it and then the <laughs> alien queen impregnates you and then you die. Hell yeah. Sometime. What a way to go. At least you got laid, though. At least you got laid. That's what I, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We got to move. Danny, right, what do you got? On, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on that note. Danny's like, oh, my God. Danny, you have two minutes. Two Danny minutes. 
So it's like three minutes. <laughs> I was going to say, we can just quickly say the like honorable mentions are the ones that we didn't talk about. Like, you know what I mean? We could do okay, this. Okay, we'll, we'll go a little bit quick we on the We could do this next two year, too. You know what I mean? Because it's fun. You know, there's so there's many a ton other of movies. movies. Sure, yeah. sure. But yeah, let's quickly run through what we have left. Okay. Um. Unless, Danny, you want to spend time on one that you really thought would be really cool, then whatever, you know? One big one or two small ones? Two for one deal. Uh, okay. Uh, I, uh, uh, I don't know. Ah! <laughs> She's like, I picked too many. Aha! <laughs> Hoisted by your own petard, Danny. I told you you had too long of a list. I told you. Um, I'm, oh, okay, wait. I, am I going to do honorable mentions and then one big one or? You could, Whatever, just do it. You yes, could just say like three quick ones and then do one big one. Yeah, like three, just, just say three titles and one big one. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I guess. You started kind so of like that was I, my bad. Yeah, anyways. Yeah, so I guess uh, the honorable mentions that I have is The Witches. Um, if you don't know what The Witches are, go watch it. It has Angelica Hudson in it. Um, and it's pretty much about this young, young boy. He kind of stumbles upon like a witch convention and, uh, he like gets turned into a mouse and he needs to kind of get back into turning into a boy and stuff. Um, so it's pretty creepy. The 1991 uh, there's two versions. Um, yeah, I was gonna say they already made this the, recently, didn't they? Yes, yeah. yeah. So, so the one that they remade has uh, Anne Hathaway in it, which she looks fantastic in it. Um, it's okay. I I watched the reboot. I personally like the original one because the body horror and like how the witches look in the uh 1991 is more creepy the practical effects yeah they're more yeah yeah Yeah, it's the fx is just better in my opinion Mm. um yeah and then uh, uh young frankenstein is another one that i think would be cool and funny because it's a comedy and it's mel brooks oh that was funny yeah funny movie um so it's frankenstein It's actually Igor. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I have a boyfriend. (laughs) And then um, another one would be the Addams Family, of course. So... Um, and we've seen multiple so, adaptations of that. So, like, you know, you could just do just fucking do oh, it. Yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday's yeah. new one, right? With what's her name? Jenna Ortega. The girl, with, the girl with the very uniquely shaped face. Jenna Ortega, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, and then my other one, I don't know how you would do this. After I, I after I put it on my list, I really thought about it. I'm like, oh, I don't know how this this would go because it's a musical and it's the Rocky Horror Picture Show. This I would be one of those ones that would be like a joint thing, right? Like you would get you would probably it would probably be produced here in, in North America, but like you would have like all the Japanese studios do it or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I guess. I don't know. I, I think I think I might just ax it because I I can't picture Rocky Horror Picture Show not being a musical. And yeah, sure. Yeah. I don't think well, and Japan to to doesn't the... really do well with musicals. Yeah, I don't know. Per se. Who knows? Yeah, that's not... they don't really have a big tradition of that. Yeah. They're big on yeah. theater, but like musicals itself, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They I do mean, maybe have they a lot do, of stage. I, just, I don't know about it. They have a lot of stage production, but it's not like they're not like they're not like they're not like they're not like Bollywood. Singing. Like Bollywood would be fucking great for this. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like India could yeah. knock this out of the park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um so those are my own honorable mentions. Um, the big one that I think would be really cool would be Science of the Lambs. Hello, Clarice. Um, I am going absolutely, to... Absolutely. One of the I, ones on my list is pretty much this, so I'm going to go along with you on this one totally. Yeah. But you so go ahead and tell them. I, this is... Silence of the Lambs is is one of my favorite movies. Wait, Nick, did you just do the, the snake thing? The th- yeah, he did. yeah, I tried to. <laughs> I was I was pretending I was Dwight from The Office. Fava beans <laughs> and a nice can too. Yeah. Um. um yeah. Yeah. So Silence of the Lambs is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, only because I I am, and some you were uh, 
not like I, a lot are when we were doing Castlevania, um, you were talking about like how you're not like huge on true crime and everything. Um, yeah. I am. I love true crime. I love watching documentaries on them and everything. So this how this movie is portrayed is really up my alley. Um, and I really think that this would be a really good suspenseful uh, thriller anime, um, especially with the whole like who done it and following, um, you know, the detective and everything like that. And it's it also how, what the movie is about can also take place in Japan, too. So I think Silence of the Lambs is a very open ended kind of premise that it can be set anywhere, um, really. So I think I would, as a twist, I would want it to be more so in modern, uh, modern time versus uh, the 90s. I believe that's where the Silence of the Lambs is taking place. So, um, yeah. yeah. And I just want to say that when I was talking about that in the last episode, I meant like, like true, true things. Cause Elizabeth Bathory was a real person. Um, right. In in the case of this, you know, um, Dr. Hannibal Lecter is based on some people, but it's not based on a real thing. And I personally happen to love, uh, all of the Hannibal things, uh, you know, uh, red dragon, manhunter, mm-hmm. all that, whatever. And I don't know if anyone's ever watched the TV show, but, if if they it's if, it's, it's awesome. If, I love the TV show. If they make the anime like the TV show, like how Danny's <laughs> describing it, it would be great. Um uh and 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 also, you know, you could technically base it on the real life Japanese old cannibal guy, uh mm-hmm. Sagawa, yeah, the, yeah. Kobe, the Kobe cannibal or whatever they called him. Yeah. Yeah. Even um, though I will I I mean for you, your your pick is Hannibal, so it, it's focusing on Hannibal. But for me, Silence of the Lambs is yeah, it's like, about a, like Hannibal is caught, like he's, he's in custody. A, he's assisting and, Clarice, yeah. Right, yeah. So they're trying to get Buffalo Bill. So um, who's like Buffalo Bill, he is kidnap- kidnapping and murdering Oh, that's the scene where they say, would you, would you put the lotion me? in the basket? Yeah. That's that. Is that that's the one where that he puts scene. a lipstick on his lips? That's yes. that scene. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, because he's putting on a woman suit. Like he, well, he tucks his, pe- he tucks his penis under, but yeah, like it's, and yeah, it was also yeah. in clerks too. They did that. Yeah. Yes, they did. You are correct. Uh, right. I was going to say also, so would you just, would you do a one for one of just the silence of the lambs part or, no, you know, I think this would be a good series because they can elaborate more uh, on like inv- the investigation and stuff like that. So I was um, going to say, can- too, because like they could also elaborate more on when like he spent time in Japan because a lady Murasaki or whatever. But mm. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't know, whatever. They, Cause he's like really, they could, that, so. I mean, yeah, it's, it's such an, that, that's what I'm saying. Like it's the premise of having a cannibal and like, um, you know, the cannibal being captured and assisting the police in investigating this open case. It's such a wide open ended premise that they could really expand on anything that they want. Really? Yeah. You could do whatever. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah, no, I agree with All that. All right, here we go. Go ahead, Nick. I got my last one here. Uh, well, I'm going to kind of combine two of them. I picked Psycho from 1960, directed by Alfred Hitchcock, and also Audition, uh, 1999. Ugh. This one was directed by... Uh, who directed this one again? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Takashi Miike. Oh yeah, dude, yeah, Takashi Miike. He's he's great. No, he's done a bunch of stuff. I, I didn't think. know he did um, the audition. Okay, yeah, that 
I don't want to think about that scene, man. I'm just gonna like. <laughs> I haven't seen it, so I'm a fake fan. But I've I've only seen parts of Psycho. Too. It's funny because like not even. I gotta watch it. This is just a list of stuff Nick has to watch. Not even 30 minutes ago, I was like, yeah, man, I love fucking gore. But there's just this one scene in that movie where I'm just like, Ugh. yeah. Yeah. Uh, the it audition is a Japanese movie too, yes. so they could translate it to anime. Um, yeah. It's just like a, a, a like psychological uh like people just spiraling pretty much right isn't that what it is it's this um, dude obsession manipulation psychological horror yeah that's but then it, she like turns here. it around on the guy and then it's it becomes a good time if you know what i mean <laughs> like, yeah it's a little bit of a, yeah <laughs> this is this is a healthy relationship <laughs> <laughs> but this would make a good anime because you could really like make it you know you wouldn't have to you wouldn't have like monsters really right there's no, no this dude, isn't like a monster are, that's, show that's what's scary about it is these are all just people yeah yeah and they're just yeah just yeah um so yeah that would be it's like a slow burn type of thing so yeah the hidden depths of human depravity yeah uh, uh and then psycho is just that's just classic that's just like you know, you're at a hotel, uh, in a hotel, right? Yeah, the Bates Mo- the Bates Motel or whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. or the motel. Yeah, I'm, for some reason, I'm thinking of Vertigo. I don't know why. I haven't seen that one. That's Hitchcock too. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's just like that's like a suspenseful, you know, psychological, scary movie. So and there's a shower scene, and you could, you know, everybody knows what that is. So, uh, let's see who who would make these. I don't know, maybe Madhouse. If they get all their get all their peeps together, like classic Madhouse style, they could do it. Or Bones, Studio Bones could do it. That's what I got. That's my last two. Bones, yeah, dude. I know. I agree with that. Fucking Bones or whatever. Yeah, Bones underrated. I think. I think like Bones is kind of taking a backseat on a lot of stuff. Directed by Bones has been doing a lot of romance. Yeah. yeah. Whoever did Fujiko Mine, uh, oh, I, yeah. I had her pulled up here. Sayo Yamamoto, I think. Oh, okay. We should watch. Uh, we should watch that. We should review Fujiko Mine. I. Um, we, need, we need a woman director to do uh, audition. That'd be sweet. That'd be sweet. I I don't know if it would work, but it, it, I think it could. I mean, who no, the guy directed the the first movie? Yeah, yeah, that this that'd be good. You like flip it around? Yeah, that'd be good. All right, I would very much this this last one, and I can't. Um, I, I would like this one to also be like a more realistic style one, maybe done by like maybe if it was like like Akira or Steamboy, like Katsuhiro Otomo or whatever. But like the last house on the left, um, I really like the last house on the left i it would be a cool maybe like two part ova or a movie perhaps um I, you would definitely not be able to make a series out of this thing i mean they've tried making a whole film series out of it and it just is dumb after the first one but um the last house on the left is like um or i'm thinking of a spit on your grave i guess but this is kind of in that area but the last house on the left is kind of like um what you call like a reverse antagonist kind of thing where the victims are the the bad people and the 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 monsters or tortures are like the good people I guess. Um, um oh, are, yeah. are, which which version? There's there's two versions. Yeah, there's a remake. 70. There's a remake. Two thousand nine and yeah, what's the other one? Seventy two and two thousand nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say I would say it doesn't matter. I would say well, I guess it does matter. I would say that regardless of version, just maybe leave out the I don't know, leave out the 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 R word part, the assault, the sexual assault, and only because like. I feel like there's something else that you could do to make it more. So I don't, I never seen this. Okay. So I don't, it I looks don't, like the 2009 version has a higher score. Yeah. Cause people, it, it was more consumable. So the last house on the left is this, it's this girl and she goes to a concert with a friend. The, they get stopped by like a hitchhiker guy. I don't remember if it was a hitchhiker or whatever, but like, they're like, Oh yeah, come back to my place or whatever. The girls basically get drugged and jumped and then assaulted in a horrible way. And then one of them dies. And then the other girl gets left for dead, like on the side of a road, like in a river or something. She's, oh, does this have the guy from breaking bed? 
I don't know. I think so. Aaron Paul or whatever. Yeah, Aaron Paul. Yeah, I think so. I think he's in the new one. Yeah. Um, yeah, obviously the new one, not the seventies one. But <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, she is somehow able to make it back to her family's house, and uh, some other shit happens. The bad guys get lured to the house, and they torture the shit out of the bad guys to get revenge on. They're for their daughter and shit. And so, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's basically like Straw Dogs. If you've ever seen Straw Dogs, it's like that, which I would love to see an anime of Straw Dogs as well. Um, but yeah, the, the reason why I like The Last House on the Left is because I like watching people who deserve to get to get ganked get ganked. And so, uh, anytime that happens, it's like a, I don't know, I'm just sad, satisfying to me. It's like people watching those soap cutting videos, you know? Um, uh, or the, the, those videos of people playing with moon sand and whatever. Uh, it's very satisfying to me to, to, to see somebody who gets their come up and skip their come <laughs> oh, up. That's the same thing. So like basically Kill Bill is like porn to me. You know what I mean? So like. Oh, Kill Bill is. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. But like, you know, it's like this. These people getting what they deserve. You know what I mean? So Bill getting what he deserves at the end, that kind of thing. And so, you know, I. I'm, I, I don't even care if the, the main character was like a girl or a guy. You know, it could be it could be whatever situation. Just have the premise of like of somebody, you know, getting robbed or hurt in some terrible way. And then they make it back to their family in the middle of nowhere. It brings me joy. The last house on the left. And then they've the killers go kill you, stab you in the face. Cut off your face, put it on my face. Oh, yeah. And see if it was accurate. We need we need movies. Are there horror movies where like rich people get get uh, like real like billionaires get tortured? You know, we need some more of those. Trisha you know? told me the menu was basically that movie. Okay, good. I, I need to watch actually, that. I, I've, I mentioned the menu. And actually, the Saw series is pretty much like that. Nice. Well, because nice. The Saw series is like the the whole point of Jigsaw's thing is like to teach people. The not to take life for granted and constantly rich people do that. One of the victims is an insurance agent who like pretty much gets to decide if people lives or dies because, oh, well, we're not going to cover your cancer treatment and then you're just going to basically die. And then so he see that's not even the I'm I'm talking you got to aim higher than that. But the billionaires, I'm pretty that's sure I would aim. I'm pretty sure there's a few that were that were maybe the trace not, comma club, maybe not billionaires. I don't know. But not like, just some henchmen. He kind of doesn't discriminate by social status although he should but um anyways is there any movies you guys think uh that we missed there's so many that we could have talked oh yeah we missed a lot of them yeah um ghostbusters i mean that's halloween i would love to see we've i mean there's there's the cartoon show there's the new cartoon show there's the comic there's so many adaptations of this and anime one wouldn't kill anyone it would actually make it better you know what i mean like i would love that that and you could have Bill Murray do a do a uh, uh, commercial for the anime. Bill Murray do a commercial for the anime. <laughs> he would do like the Santori. T- it's like for a relaxing time, there's Santori time. <laughs> Except he'd have like Ghostbusters. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I would love that. I would love that. I used to love the Ghostbusters Extreme cartoon show. That was a cool show. Um, but yeah, dude, if you if we missed any. I mean, we we definitely missed a whole. I got a whole list of them. I Jeez. got a whole list of them right here. If I can, we had to make Danny scrunch, crunch her list down. Uh, but yeah, fucking, I love horror movies. You know, uh, when I'm in the mood for them, you know, it's I'm I'm kind of picky about them. There are some of them where I guess I can't watch, obviously. But like, uh, which which kinds of of horror movies can you not watch? I can't watch. There's some body horror things I can't watch. Um, oh, like the Cronenberg ones? Yeah, the Cronenberg ones are almost a little, they're almost ridiculous in ways. They're monstrous, so I can kind of oh, get away with that. So you're like Human Centipede or something? So yeah, the Human Centipede, the first one's actually really good. The second one, I've only seen clips of, and that one's very gross. It's like... Yeah, I believe you. Yeah. you don't, got, don't tell I me. Won't <laughs> say it. Yeah, but like, there's, there's one movie I've seen, it was an Italian film. I won't say the name of it, um, but like... Um, the the ending one of the ending scenes lives rent free in my mind and I, I could never get rid of it and it just sucks <laughs> like it's 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 like you know so I I try and be more careful and stay away from things that are gonna be like uh ugh, you know and plus like the the movie in question is like it, it's like supposed to be real people right and they're just doing heinous things so it's like ugh, 
But yeah, like the faculty was fun. I keep thinking about the faculty because I re- I watched it recently, but <laughs> that one is basically like Parasite the anime almost in a weird way. Um, yeah. Except- Z- zombie movies are never that scary. They're like, they're thrilling, I would say. Well, Parasite isn't a zombie movie. Oh, I know that. Sorry. I just went off base. My ADD went, went off here. No, no, but I mean like... <laughs> We didn't mention zombie anime because there already are. There's so many of them. them. Yeah. There's, well, not so many, but, me, but there's enough. But you could do like a Dawn of the Dead. I mean, you could, you know, but like they've already done a bunch. So we we have enough for now. Actually, we, you can never have too many. It's always good to have more. Yeah. Like one per year would be nice. And, and there's got to be a mall scene. Oh, yeah. You got to have a mall. You got to have a mall yep. scene. Yeah. Or else it doesn't count. Doesn't count. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Next week, again, we're doing Horror Shark Tank. We're going to review your stuff. So you got a couple more days to send them in. Google Form is in the Discord announcements. announcements and I think, uh, Danny, tweeted, you tweeted it, right? Sure, I did. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Sam got to get back on social media. Yeah, we got to get back on Twitter. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Sam has a real reason. I don't have a real reason. I'm just lazy. <laughs> but anyways... All right. Uh, yeah. The, if you're listening to this by now, Danny has already tweeted it by now. Um, that being said, it's the pin tweet. Okay. That being said, I love you guys. I love you guys very much. Thanks for listening every week. I've been Sam. That's been Honey Bear. That's been Trisha. That's been Nick. That's been Danny. That's been Tia, Finn, Mallory. We got to get a Tia emoji. Do we have one? No, we got to get a Tia emoji. We got to do that next. Uh, put in Gandhi, Rivoli. Uh, Tatiana, Mr. Tim, Greg the Bunny. Those are those are all our patrons. <laughs> yeah, those are all, those are all our those are all our Discord pets. All the t- pets on Discord. I forgot Tommy. Um, um, Smokey the Bear, not my cat Smokey, but actually Smokey the Bear. You know the bear that in the forest. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Bugs Bunny, Tom and Jerry, Lola Bunny, Lola Bunny, um, Peppa Le Pew, um. Speedy Gonzalez. No, he's not racist. Okay, now you're just you not now you're just Did you say Tom just and Jerry yet? Name. I did Tom say Jerry. Tom and Jerry. I did say yeah. Okay, yeah. Tom and Jerry. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh Abraham DeLacy, Giuseppe to Casey. Thomas Wiley Coyote. Wiley Coyote. Coyote. Yeah. And we've been the Anime Summit Podcast. 